Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all very well today and today we have another video with the delightful animal we are focusing on in this video being called the Gila Monster or also known as the Heloderma suspectum. This highly colourful reptilian can be found within the wild and a range of different zoological collections throughout the world yet I've not actually seen one myself. But as always I hope you enjoy this little video. The Gila Monster is native to the United States and can be generally found in the southwestern regions of the United States and Mexico. Some areas in which the Gila Monster can be found include the Sonora Desert, Arizona, some areas of California, Nevada, Utah and New Mexico. The Gila Monster is the largest extant nat lizard native to North America. They average 26 to 36 centimetres in length, with larger specimens reaching about 51 to 56 centimetres or 20 to 22 inches in total length. Weight wise in terms of actual body mass the Gila monster ranges from 350 to 700 grams with the largest specimens weighing up to 2,300 grams. So it's quite a big contrast in how heavy they can actually reach. Most likely depending on food sources and age if I had to take a random guess at that. The IUCN has classified the Gila monster as near threatened on their appendix due to habitat destruction and ongoing urbanisation. Dietary wise, Gila monsters are generally carnivorous, with small birds, mammals, frogs, lizards, insects and carrion all being on the menu. Here's a lovely little image of a little Gila monster sticking its delightful little fork tongue out us. But moving on, the closest living relative of the Gila monster is the beaded lizard or Heloderma horridium, with the evolutionary history being traced back all the way to the Cretaceous period, or the final period in which the dinosaurs lived within before the bloody great asteroid wiped them out. But moving on from that, the actual genus Hylodermia has existed since the Miocene, with fragments from Gila monster osteoderms being dated all the way back to the late Pleistocene period. This is around 10,000 to 8,000 years ago. Due to the Gila monster being relatively unchanged in terms of morphology wise, they are often actually regarded as living fossils just because they have not changed in appearance or body structure whatsoever. The name Gila refers to the Gila River Basin in the states of New Mexico and Arizona. And the word Heloderma means studied skin and suspectum comes from paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope, who suspected a lizard might be venomous due to the slight grooves located within its teeth. As an adaptation to their desert-like environment, Gila monsters spend a large duration of their time underground in burrows, hibernating during the winter and scorching sun within the summertime months. Gila monsters emerge in spring and a majority of their activity occurs during this three-month period. Mating takes place from April to June with females laying a clutch of roughly 12 eggs in late June or August. Another slight mo note I would say, the yellow and black coloration is probably to ward off air potential predators because yellow and black is generally used as a sign that an animal is potentially actually more of a threat to a predator than the predator it is to the actual animal it's hunting. Here are just some lovely facts for you ladies and gentlemen on this beautiful reptilian specimen. I hope you enjoy. The Gila monster is the largest species of native lizard found within North America. This ain't including, like, for example, the green iguana is now common, found in some regions of North America, but that's actually an invasive species. The closest living relative of the Gila monster is the beaded lizard, or Heloderma horridium, if, if you're going to mention its Latin name. Species of the genus Helodermia, as mentioned before, have barely changed since they first diverged and came into existence all the way since the Pleistone, Pleistocene period nearly 10,000-8,000 years ago. Here we got a lovely little photo showing a full skeleton of the Gila monster. In one of them you can clearly see the little osteoderms or bit like beads that cut are on the top of the skull or head. And in the bottom left you can see two skulls where it clearly shows like the ridges and bumps what, what the Gila monster possesses if you were to look at any pictures of them. Let's talk venom though. The actual venom of the Gila monster is similar to the venom of a coral snake and is a neurotoxin. The Gila monster's bite, although it's not fatal to adult healthy humans, but I certainly wouldn't want to test that very myself. But no actual fatalities have been recorded since 1939. Gila monster is actually able to bite pretty quickly and will latch on to 
anything it actually gets hold of in terms of defending itself very tenaciously and can be very extremely difficult to pry off. Some symptoms of the venom include excruciating pain, which is not good in itself, edemia and a rapid drop in blood pressure. Well that concludes this lovely little video ladies and gentlemen on the Gila Monster. I think the Gila Monster is truly an incredible animal myself. I think I've seen beaded lizards within like actual a zoological collection at one point, I vaguely recall seeing them. But I don't think I've actually yet to see a Gila Monster in captivity myself. They probably do house them in, I think in San Diego Zoo like, they house them. But I might be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure they bred them once there, which I think was in 1961. Well, as always, ladies and gents, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy this little educational video, feel free to comment and like the video. And join the Raptor Pack today by subscribing. I hope you have a pleasant morning, afternoon, day or evening wherever you are in the world. Goodbye for now.